So I've been trying to fix a lot of bugs related to the sketching interface this week. Um, if you recall, I've been trying to make something a bit like the uh, the um, Fusion 360 or Shaper 3D style UI for working with sketches um, to automatically Boolean regions and so forth. But in addition to that, uh, I've been experimenting with a couple of features um, that I just wanted to show off really quickly. Um, uh, let's just make a quick copy of this and also duplicate this um, maybe here. So the first feature I worked on this week as an experiment is a bridging command to bridge between two curves. So it's a bit, uh, the UI is a bit confusing. It allows you to bridge in a couple different ways. I like using bridge rather than fill it, to be honest, which allows you to set um, arbitrary positions in the curves. I want to make a nicer gizmo for this, but something like this, reverse the sense, um, allows you to make nice uh, connections between curves. You know, in this case, it's a connection between a closed two closed curves, but you know, you can join um, you can join open curves as well. Um, now, uh, the other thing that I've been working on is a, a kind of line with stroke width support. So for example, let me delete these guys. If I create a planar line, or let's just start with that, I can give it thickness, um, like to make pill-like shapes. Um, you can change the endpoints to arc and linear. I'm only supporting a couple different features for now, but there's a lot of great stuff you can do. And, uh, you know, in, in general, this is like, in theory, this is like all the kind of stuff that you could do in Adobe Illustrator. But then you can make pill-like shapes from it if you like. Um, but yeah, that's the basic idea for this week. I'm making progress. There's so many bugs to fix. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, it's coming along. And hopefully there'll be a beta soon. Cool. Thanks.